The criminal case against Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes began this morning in federal court in San Jose. The court is picking a jury in the case that stands as one of Silicon Valley's biggest scandals. KTV reporter Evan Cernofsky has been in the court, excuse me, watching the jury selection process. So Evan, uh, what's happened so far? Heather, of the 200 prospective jurors, nine were already cut because they weren't vaccinated. Another 30 were let go for personal reasons like child care and family issues. So what they're trying to determine now is how much these prospective members of the jury or the, the possible jury know about the case. And it turns out that almost everybody knows a little bit about the sensational case. They all say that they can be fair and impartial. Now we have new video of Holmes entering federal court in San Jose this morning. She was accompanied by her attorneys who wheeled in stacks of file boxes. She's facing 12 counts, including wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Prosecutors have accused her of defrauding investors and patients when she took over 700 million in investment capital. She's claimed that her technology, the Edison machine, could conduct complex tests with only a few drops of blood. Whistleblowers came forward to the Wall Street Journal in 2015, revealing the tech was bogus. The Department of Justice in 2018 brought criminal charges against Holmes. Now legal experts say this jury selection process could make or break the case. All cases really come down to jury selection, and jury selection, voir dire, is an art. Now a judge will not kick a juror off just because they know about the case. What they will get excused for is knowing about the case and having a, an opinion of guilt or not guilt in a case. The jurors were also asked if they were involved with intimate partner abuse, and several of them revealed they had loved ones who were in abusive relationships. This strikes at the core of what will likely be Holmes's defense. Unsealed court records reveal that she plans to accuse her former partner and boyfriend, Sonny Bawani, of abuse during the period of the charged crimes. Bawani has denied the accusations from Holmes. He's set to be tried separately early next year. Now jury selection in this case continues this week leading up to opening statements which are expected to begin early next week. Reporting live in San Jose, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU Fox 2 News. It is definitely a fascinating case. All right, Evan, thank you very much. And Evan